Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 19 that is page objects and factory models in Selenium Web Travel and C-Sharp.net. In this video, we will learn how to design the page object models and how to use page factory models as well. So every web application has got uh, some web pages and in each web page there is a uh, there could be some forms, fields, links, text boxes, drop downs, check boxes, etc. So in page object models what happens is each page is considered as a class and in that class all these links, text boxes, drop downs are considered as fields. And then there are methods to uh, perform operations on those fields. So that is how we design the page object model. So let us say in this particular application we have got home page. So we will create a home page class then this is a test page so we can create the test page class and then in that this text boxes or drop downs check boxes can be uh, put as members and then we can access those members from our tests so that is how we can design the page object models in selenium as you can see i have created over here a home page test page classes so in the frameworks you can notice that in the pages directory i got this home page test page and base page as well so home page test page actually all these pages will require driver so what i have done is that put that uh, driver in this base page as you can see i have declared one i web driver and then uh, initialize that driver over there so you can ignore this page factory at this point of time and in the home page what i have done is extended that base page or uh, inherited that base page and then we have got one method to click on the test link that selenium test page so that is how you can create the class for each page so this is the class for home page then this is the class for selenium test page in that uh, selenium test page we have got the various uh, fields like uh, first name last name etc so i have created one method to set the first name and i have also created another method to get the first name from the edit box so that is how you can create the methods for each uh, field or the object on that particular page and from our tests what i have done is that in this page objects this is the test class and in here i have created a new home page so when you instantiate in this constructor i am uh, navigating to this home page url then from the home page i have got one method click test page link and in that uh, what will happen is it will click on test page link and then a new test page will be returned so if you look at the home page in this method i have written this particular test page and this code is required to switch to the new window handle because that selenium test page is going to open in another window that's why i have written this code to switch to that window so you can notice that i have written uh, the object of the test page and once i get the object you can uh, use these uh, methods in that particular class like set name get name and here i have done the assertions so that is how uh, you can do the uh, like design the page object models in selenium so i'm just going to execute this first of all it will go to home page there is softforce.org home page and then it will click on the selenium test page link And in there it will enter the poll in the first name and then also do the assertions as well. Alright, so this is about the simple page object models. Now, what is the page factory models? In page factory models, what happens is that if you go to home page, you will notice that uh, I have used this particular syntax to click on the test page link. Driver order find element. But in page factory, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is uh, just use create the declare that link member so like that so for each uh, object or the field in that page you can create this or declare these members like that here you have to uh, decide like uh, which is the location strategy you are going to use so i'm going to use partial link text and uh, the link text is selenium test page so this will uh, this object will be initialized when we instantiate this uh, particular class object so if you go to base page over there you will need this particular method page factor dot init elements driver this what it means is that this particular 
objects will be initiated if anywhere they are required so in the home page you can notice that you don't need to write that or find that object using this find element that will be done for you by the fetch factory so init element method so here test link dot click so here you can uh, see that I directly use this particular object similarly you can put uh, all the objects like edit boxes test boxes uh, drop downs etc over there and then access directly main advantage of uh, putting or uh, using the page factor is that the same object can be used uh, across many methods so this code is not duplicated like this you can directly access that object and then perform the operations so here instead of using the driver or find element right now we are using this element directly object that variable and if you execute this once again this time around it will use the page factory so the concept is uh, same in page object and page factory only difference is that in the page factory you don't need to use that find element every time you access the element So like that you can use the page object and page factory models and also note that uh, you will need this page uh, server name web driver dot support dll as well so make sure that you install that uh, nugget package from the nugget package manager that ends our lecture number uh, 19 that is page object and factory models in the server name in c sharp dot it thanks for watching this video